Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Today, we're diving deep into something that affects each and every one of us carrying a smartphone in our pockets. Mobile hacking. We're talking about the techniques, the vulnerabilities, and the steps you can take to protect your digital life. So whether you're a tech enthusiast or just someone who wants to keep their data safe, stick around because we're breaking down the intricate world of mobile hacking. All right, so let's kick things off by addressing the elephant in the room. Why should you even care about mobile hacking? I mean, it's not like we're all walking around with top secret government files on our phones, right? Well, here's the thing. Your phone holds a treasure trove of personal information that hackers would love to get their hands on. We're talking contacts, messages, photos, browsing history, you name it. And it's not just about stealing your data. Hackers can use your phone for all sorts of shady stuff, like making unauthorized purchases with your linked accounts, impersonating you online, or even spying on you through your camera or microphone. Yeah, it's kind of creepy, but that's the reality of the situation. Think about it. We use our phones for pretty much everything these days. Online banking, shopping, social media, you name it. All that convenience comes at a price. And that price is the potential for our digital lives to be compromised. Now, I'm not saying this to scare you, but it's important to be aware of the risks. The more you know about how mobile hacking works, the better equipped you'll be to protect yourself. So let's break down some of the most common ways hackers try to get into your phone. Now, when it comes to actually getting into your phone, hackers have a whole bag of tricks at their disposal. But don't worry, we're going to unpack some of the most prevalent ones so you know exactly what to look out for. One of the oldest tricks in the book is called social engineering. And this isn't about some complex algorithm. It's about exploiting human psychology. Think phishing emails, fake websites that look legit, basically anything designed to trick you into handing over your personal information willingly. Then there's the more direct approach, exploiting software vulnerabilities. You see, every now and then, developers miss a bug or two in their code. And you better believe hackers are constantly on the lookout for these weak points. They might use these vulnerabilities to install malware or even gain complete control of your device. And speaking of malware, it's more common than you might think. It could be disguised as a harmless app, downloaded from a shady website, or even sneak in through an infected email attachment. Once it's on your phone, it can do some serious damage. Stealing your data, tracking your every move, or even turning your phone into a botnet zombie. We also can't forget about public Wi-Fi. Now I get it, free Wi-Fi is super tempting, especially when you're on the go. But those unsecured networks are like playgrounds for hackers. They can easily intercept the data you send and receive while connected, including passwords, credit card details, the whole nine yards. And lastly, there's good old fashioned physical access. It's easy to forget that sometimes, all it takes is a few moments alone with your unlocked phone for someone to install malicious software or steal your data. These are just a few of the many ways hackers can try to compromise your phone. And trust me, they're constantly coming up with new and creative methods. That's why it's crucial to stay informed and take steps to protect yourself. Okay, so we've talked about phishing in passing, but let's dive a little deeper into how this sneaky tactic actually plays out. Because honestly, it's often the most convincing scams that reel people in. Imagine this, you're scrolling through your emails and bam, you see a message from your bank. The logo's there, the formatting looks legit, and they're warning you about some suspicious activity on your account. Panic starts to set in, right? The email urges you to click on a link to verify your information, and feeling uneasy, you click it. You're taken to what looks exactly like your bank's website, and you don't even hesitate to enter your user ID and password. Boom. Just like that, you've been hooked. That, my friends, is the essence of phishing. It's all about creating a sense of urgency or fear to cloud your judgment and make you act impulsively. And let me tell you, these phishing attempts are getting increasingly sophisticated. They might spoof legitimate websites down to the very last detail, making it almost impossible to tell the real from the fake. Or they might use targeted attacks, crafting personalized messages that play on your specific interests or concerns to gain your trust. The key takeaway here is simple. Be vigilant. Scrutinize every email, every text message, and every website that asks for your personal information. Pay close attention to the sender's address. Look for any grammatical errors or inconsistencies. And if something feels even slightly off, trust your gut. Remember, 
a legitimate company will never ask for your sensitive information via email or text. If you're ever unsure, contact the company directly using their official contact information, not the details provided in the suspicious message. So we've covered the art of deception with phishing, but now let's talk about malware, the silent intruder that can wreak havoc on your phone without you even realizing it. Think of malware like a digital parasite. It's a piece of malicious software designed to infiltrate your device, often without any visible signs, and exploit your data or disrupt your phone's functionality. Now, malware can sneak onto your phone in a bunch of different ways. One common method is through malicious apps. You might be tempted to download apps from third-party app stores or those sketchy websites that promise you free versions of paid apps. But let me tell you, those unauthorized sources are often breeding grounds for malware. Another way malware can spread is through infected email attachments or links. You might receive an email that looks completely harmless, maybe even from someone you know, but hidden within that attachment or link could be a nasty surprise. And then there's the drive-by download. This is where malware automatically downloads onto your phone without you even clicking anything. It might be lurking on a compromised website just waiting for you to visit and boom, it infects your device. Once malware is on your phone, it can do some serious damage. It can steal your passwords, spy on your keystrokes, access your camera and microphone, and even take control of your device remotely. The scariest part, you might not even realize your phone is infected. Malware is often designed to operate in the background, silently siphoning off your data without raising any red flags. So, how do you protect yourself from these digital parasites? We'll dive deeper into prevention strategies in the next chapter. But for now, remember to be cautious about the apps you download, the links you click, and the websites you visit. All right, we've covered a lot of ground from understanding the motives behind mobile hacking to uncovering the sneaky tactics employed by these digital intruders. Now it's time to shift gears and talk about how you can fortify your defenses and safeguard your digital life. First and foremost, keep your phone updated. I know, I know, those software updates can be annoying, especially when you're in the middle of something important. But trust me, they're crucial for patching security vulnerabilities that hackers could exploit. So the next time you see that update notification, don't ignore it. Next up, let's talk about passwords. I can't stress this enough. Use strong, unique passwords for all your accounts. And no, password 123 doesn't count. A strong password should be a mix of upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. If remembering complex passwords feels impossible, consider using a reputable password manager to keep track of them for you. Now, remember those phishing attacks we talked about? Your first line of defense is your own awareness. Be cautious about any suspicious emails, messages, or websites asking for your personal information. If something seems off, it probably is. Double check the sender's address, look for grammatical errors, and if you're ever in doubt, contact the company directly using their official contact information. Let's talk app permissions for a second. When you install an app, it often asks for access to your camera, microphone, contacts, or location. While some apps genuinely need these permissions to function properly, others might be trying to collect your data for nefarious purposes. So be mindful of the permissions you grant. If an app's request seems excessive or unnecessary, don't hesitate to deny it. And last but not least, let's talk about public Wi-Fi. I know it's tempting to hop onto that free, unsecured network at the coffee shop. But remember, those networks are like playgrounds for hackers. If you must use public Wi-Fi, Consider using a VPN to encrypt your internet traffic and add an extra layer of protection. Protecting yourself from mobile hacking is an ongoing process, but by taking these proactive steps, you can significantly reduce the risk of falling victim to these digital threats. That wraps up our deep dive into the world of mobile hacking. We've covered a lot of ground today, from understanding the methods hackers use to the steps you can take to protect yourself. Remember, your smartphone is a powerful tool, but it's also a potential target. The key takeaway here is awareness. The more you know about the threats out there, the better equipped you'll be to navigate the digital landscape safely. So stay informed, stay vigilant, and keep those defenses strong. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more tech deep dives. Until next time, stay safe and secure.